the search for, for power is at the core of uh, Putin's uh, policy. In fact, he, he tried to redesign uh, its power in order to restore its power at the uh, international level. And to do so, in fact, there, there was certainly a sort of triangle uh, in its policy. It was a search for prestige, uh, which is absolutely uh, crucial for the Russian elites. And to, to, to get this prestige, in fact, he, he had two main tools. The first one was uh, his military policy, the rebuilding, the redesigning of its um, um, military forces. And in addition to that, its energy policy. When Putin arrived to power in 2000, in 2000 he had two, two big troubles. The first one was the loss of the Kursk, uh, a nuclear submarine, which was something obviously very difficult to, 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 to be accepted by the Russian Navy and by the Russian military force. And more importantly, the second war in Chechnya, which was a sort of revenge for the Russian military forces after uh, having been defeated uh, during the first war in Chechnya uh, with uh, President Yeltsin. So definitely, you know, in terms of civil military relations, uh, in terms of uh, the importance given to the uh, military apparatus, it's at the core of, uh, of uh, Putin's basis of power. Uh, the fact is that for, for Russia, the main threat, there are basically two main threats, NATO enlargements and what the Russians call Wahhabism. There was a war in Chechnya, there was after that the um, fights, I would say, in North Caucasus, not only in Chechnya, but in, in Dagestan, for instance. And there was, all af after that, the war in Georgia, 2008, and much more recently, uh, the special operation in Crimea and the east eastern part of Ukraine. And I think also we should remember that, to some extent, uh, Russia considers itself being at war, uh, since uh, to being at war against international terrorism, and for them, uh, terrorism is in fact uh, a permanent combat. If we compare what was done by Russia and Georgia in 2008 with what was done in Crimea and Ukraine in 2014, and there was clearly some investment made for this type of uh, uh, operation, I would say, under the level of war. I, I, will, I will sum up in this way. Uh, Russian military is never uh, as uh, um, uh, ready or as uh, strength as it pretends, but Russian military is never uh, as weak as it seems. And it's, it seems to be very, very uh, relevant in the current situation.